Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Pilates Aligned with Sarah. My name is Sarah, and today's demo is all about cardio sculpts. You the cardio sculpt jump board on a balanced body reformer. Let's begin. I recommend starting with an optional foam roller support. I won't jump without one. Place your pop across the shoulder blocks. Then arrive supine on your back, facing the jump board. Align your shoulder blades across the mat. Place your hands behind your head and extend your spine. Enjoy a warm-up front body stretch over the roller. Option to release your head and hands. Inhale and exhale for a few breaths. With your hands behind your head, add a crunch back to start and step your feet up. Then bring your hands to your hips to imprint your tailbone and stabilize your pelvis. Return to your supported crunch position and prepare to jump. Press the carriage out like basic footwork. Add an ankle prep for jumping. I teach this in four parts. First, press the carriage out. Second, lift your heels. Third, close the carriage. Fourth, lower your heels. This turns into a jump. Use your abs, glutes, and thighs. Practice soft landing in order, toe, ball, heel. Keep your legs lifted and knees relaxed. I enjoy jumping in series of three sets of 10 positions. Let's start with 10 jumps in parallel. Then change to 10 jumps in external rotation. Practice with your heels together, AKA Pilates V. Finish in wide second with your heels apart. Add a bonus round of beats. Then practice coordination with alternating jumps. Jump from Pilates V to wide second. End with a pulse using your obliques. Stay light on your toes. Then slow it down to practice controlling your breath and stretching. Reset with a second spine extension. Inhale and exhale. Prepare for round two, but first, let's take a close-up view of the basic alignment. Start with the carriage closed. Press out with your heels down in parallel. Then lift your heels and close the carriage. Lower your heels and repeat. Practice repeating the same plane of motion. Maintain parallel from the center of each hip to your knees. Align the center of your knees over the ankles. Stabilize your ankles to the center of each second toe. Keep your feet up and knees relaxed. Continue to use your abs, glutes, and thighs and avoid locking your knees. Next, practice rotation to Pilates V. Bring your parallel alignment to external rotation. Then practice stepping wide. Maintain your alignment from the center of your hip, knee, ankle, and second toe. For pulsing in wide second, practice jumping without moving the carriage. Ready for single leg jumping? Let's begin round two. Start with parallel jumps on side one. Keep your second leg in tabletop. Add an oblique twist, leading with your chest. Then switch to side two. Practice switching in midair. Let's try an alternating pulse in parallel. Use control to avoid moving the carriage. Let these feel like Matt Pilates toe taps. Optional arm variation, reach for your feet or place your hands on your hips. Your abdominals should be burning. Next, practice Pilates V, single leg. First, try alternate toe taps to the opposite knee. In ballet, this is called a passe. Land on both feet with your heels together. Then try adding a double tap. Let's bring it back to some basics and prepare to land in a final stretch. Here's a close up for the single leg alignment. Starting in parallel, maintain your alignment from the center of the hip, knee, ankle, and second toe. Continue to avoid locking your knees. Switch to external rotation with your heels together.
Wrap your toes behind your opposite leg. Stretch and press your heels forward. Practice landing in parallel on your toes and finish with control. I hope this helps your Pilates practice and jumping. Leave a comment, what's your favorite jump? For more tips and tricks, subscribe Pilates Aligned with Sarah.